Hi, I'm Colin, and this is Sci-Fi Deep Dive. So with the new season of Clone Wars launching on Disney+, Plus, I think it's time to talk about the end of the Clone Wars. One of the most dramatic parts of the end of the Clone Wars. And that is Order 66. Specifically, the mechanisms in place to enable Order 66. Now, there are two parts of the system that allowed it to be a thing, that allowed that to happen. And the first part is a list of contingency codes. These contingency codes covered everything from a rogue chancellor to rogue Jedi to a shift in power in the Republic structure. Order 66 happened to be a contingency code for a Jedi rebellion. That's the straightforward, practical sort of rulebook reason for why it happened, but there is one physical piece of equipment that allowed it to happen, and that is the inhibitor chip. The inhibitor chip is a little biological chip implanted in the heads of every clone in the very early stages of development when they were still an embryo. The chips were originally implanted with the intention of making the clones more docile than their original genetic template, who was Jango Fett. Basically, it would make them more willing to comply with orders, but at times it could make them fiercely loyal to the customer, the Kaminoans customer who were the Galactic Republic and specifically fiercely loyal to the command structure of the Galactic Republic, which saw the Chancellor at the top. Embedded in these chips were the contingency codes that I mentioned before, one of which being Order 66, which, like I said, is sort of the code for a Jedi Rebellion. So like I said, these chips were implanted while the clones were embryos in the very early stages of the cloning program, and they were planted on the orders of one of the representatives of the customer of the clone army, someone named Tyrannus, who we know to be Count Dooku. From the beginning, the intention was to use these chips for Order 66, but like I said, generally they were there to help the clones be more motivated to follow orders. While these chips were crucial to Palpatine's plan, one actually almost foiled the whole thing at the end of the Clone Wars. In the sixth season of Clone Wars, and one of my favorite arcs of the entire series, we see one of the chips malfunction and initiate Order 66 early. That clone then proceeds to attack one of the Jedi he's with. Fives, one of this clone's companions, follows him and slowly uncovers the fact that they all have these chips in their head. He removes his and tries his best to spread the word of this scheme, but is gunned down by fellow clones before he can really sound the alarm. There are some things mentioned in various sources around Star Wars, both Legends and Canon, that suggest that there is sort of some after effects from the chips being activated at Order 66. Several clone troopers report having nightmares about having to slaughter their commanders when the order came down. Which isn't surprising, being ordered to turn on someone who had been by your side through two years of vicious war, and not being able to counter or sort of debate that order at all must have been horribly destructive to someone's psychological health. And the clones were no different. All in all, the chips are really one of the only things physically that allowed this to happen. But if you enjoyed what you saw here today or just want more sci-fi discussions, head down below the subscribe button and the bell icon so you get notified when I upload new videos. Also, don't forget to like and leave me a comment. Tell me what you thought of the inhibitor chips. Do you like the concept overall or could it have been handled better? So for Sci-Fi Deep Dive, I'm Colin and I will see you next time. <laughs>